Okay, so the little one is off to sleep. He's uh, sleeping quite comfortably in the other room. So I thought while he's sleeping, whether it's 15 minutes or an hour, because you never know with kids these days, um, I will do a reaction to the Palio official beta release trailer. Um, I've never seen, I have it open in front of me here. Uh, I literally played like the first 10 seconds of it and then I decided, hold on a minute, I'll do, I'll do a reaction. Um, I'm interested to see how this is. Uh, I'm interested to see how this will play out. But, you know, enough talk. Let's just go through it and then we're going to analyze it. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Pretty cool graphics. Which is a must these days. Butterflies. Very Sims-like. It gives me tons of Sims vibes. I'm digging this. As a dad, I think this is going to be just what I need. <laughs> Alright, there's elves. There's pointing at things. Alright, so... Right, I'll take a look first, because then there's, there's a lot to talk about here. Cooking. Nice. Oh, look at that pie, man. I really want to eat a pie now. Cool, so different outfits. We got backpacks and stuff. I wonder if inventory has like a space. Surely, surely it has like a space to it. So you can jump off cliffs. Fishing, fishing. That's my game already. Game of the year. You can catch the fish and display them. That's pretty cool. Japanese themes. I like that. Oh, there's a forge. There's blacksmithing. This is Sims. This, this, this whole scene is like the Sims. There's, yeah, so there's veins of different types of ores which you can mine. This hunting, hunting mystical creatures. Nice. I like the music. It's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty neat. Look at them just fishing. All of them are dads. It's, okay. Cool. So this is the trailer. It's a pretty cool trailer. Um, beta, beta, close beta come in August 2nd. Please, devs, don't make me DM you. Please send me a copy um, so I can play and I can make more videos like this. Uh, this is right up my alley. I, am, I have a 17-month-old baby. Let me play this, okay? Right, so what do we have? Uh, let's go through let's go through this in a bit more granular um, level. Right, so trailer opens up with a bunch of scenery. Um, by the looks of it, you've got I don't know whether this is sort of like prefabs uh, or whether this is built by the community or you can build these windmills, but they look pretty cool to be entirely honest. Um, yeah, the design looks pretty neat. Um, the fact that there's roads in between that connects them means that, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of maintenance attached to it. I don't know if whether you walk on road gives you a sort of a speed boost or something like that. I'm not so sure. I guess we're going to find that. I like, I like sort of like the Japanese theme that they're going with, or whether the Asian theme. I'm not going to just say it's Japanese because I'm probably wrong, but the, more, the whole Asian theme with the dragon heads and everything. Um, right, so this this part right here, uh, as you can see in the distance, there's a bunch of buildings. I'm pretty sure that those are built by players, because they look like they don't belong. <laughs> and if I know anything about the players, it's like they like to build stuff where stuff doesn't belong. Um, and they just kind of make it work. So this is pretty cool. The other thing that I want to talk about is the uh, pet. Whether that's a pet or a mount, I'm not so sure, because it's an elf. You never know with elves. They're quite dodgy. Um, pretty sure that's a pet, though, and that, that's pretty cool, the fact that you can have a pet. And I'm hoping, and this is... I'm pretty sure they're going to have this, but I'm hoping you can pet the pet. Um, if you can't, then please go at it and make it in the game. 
Right, not so sure how the interactions are going to work between players, but I guess we're going to find that out. Um, this sort of gives the allure of the fact that there's different sort of societies within a town. I don't know whether a player can actually become sort of like a mayor of a town or, um, you know, to organize things, like a good organizer. Um, and then all the play other players within the community can sort of like contribute to the welfare of the of the town. I see that there's a town board where sort of missions will be posted. So you, as a player, you can go to the town board and she'll point. Yeah, <laughs> that, I want to do that. Um, yeah, and then you sort of like gather your resources, you get water, you trade, you farm. So there's a lot of farming. I love the fact how the farm is split into plots. As you can see here, it's like sort of like square plots. That's actually pretty cool because I've seen tons of games that uh, sort of they're not efficient in the way that they do farming because there's not you're not allowed to utilize the whole space. Right. Um, so I'm guessing you sort of like build a certain plot with the build tool and then you sort of assign on each of these little squares, you assign the type of vegetables you have or I'm guessing you buy the seeds and then um, and then you sort of like build it. Right. You grow it. Right, and then there's cooking. The cooking looks delicious. It looks really good. Really nice. Yeah, I like I love that pack. So so the so you've got farming, you've got mining, you've got uh cooking, you have uh taming. Maybe you can tame animals to become your pets, who knows? Right, the tailor as well. So I don't know whether you can bring the fabrics and all the exotic materials and the tailor can make some really fancy schmancy stuff for you. So that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, different outfits. It's pretty standard. I'm hoping there's a wide range of, of this kind of stuff in the game. Right, so there's, there's stone, uh, stone cutting here and then there's wood cutting over here. So that's pretty interesting because the way it works with wood cutting, let me just quickly go back here real quick. The way it works with wood cutting is you can do it by yourself or you can do it as a group. And I'm guessing if you do it as a group, it kind of speeds up. Just like, um, what's that MMO, like Lost Ark? Lost Ark used to do it, where you can sort of like join together in a, in a, in a tree and they use the saw um, and it kind of yields more wood and also does it faster. So it encourages people to cooperate, right? Yeah, I sort of like the effects. I like the effects of how the veins just sort of like break apart and then the tree just kind of plops over. That's pretty cool. And again, this is pretty standard stuff. I'm not saying that this is out of the ordinary because it isn't. Like other MMOs have done this way in the past, right? But since this game is sort of like attracted to that specific side of gathering, um, I'm hoping that it'll bring a little bit more oomph to it, right? A little bit more satisfaction in actually doing the gathering. Right, so you have these like gliders, which I'm guessing they're used for fast travel. And then there's fishing, right? There's fishing and then there's this guy, which I guess is some sort of like a personal assistant. Um, but there's fishing. Uh, I'll be doing a ton of fishing. Um, and what I really like about this is the fact that you can actually display the rare fish that you catch. So I'm guessing this 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 right here that this guy has catched, it's either a rare fish or some sort of a legendary fish. Yeah. Watch it be a normal fish and I'm just talking out of my ass. But anyway, yeah, anyway, you can display them. So that's pretty neat. And then there's the different styles of the house you can make, which is incredible. I look at all the detail. That's nuts, man. I can't wait to build stuff in this game. Right. And then, oh shit. And, and then, hold on, let's go back here. Right. So then there's this stuff, which is sort of like advanced crafting, right? So you have the, uh, there's, there's a lot going on in this scene. So you've got the crafting table, which where the character is sitting at. Yeah, absolutely. So you have the blueprints and stuff. Uh, for some reason, they decided to put the fur here at the bottom. Why? <laughs> Just leave it on the grass, whatever. Um, and then there's the, 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 the... What else do we have? So we have a... a, a what, why, what I assume is a sort of like a fancy barbecue. I'm not so sure. It might just be the forge. The forge is this one here on the right, right? I genuinely don't know what this one is on the left. Maybe you can tell me what this one would be. Maybe a sort of like a fancy cauldron or something like that. Um, and then there's this, which is probably made for brewery. Because uh, there's a keg. And then in the back here, you have the saw. So this is like a, sort of like a, a workshop type type place. But I like the fact that you got the trees in the background and then you have this less sort of like fence that's sort of encapsulating the entire area. 
there's this whatever makeshift tent i don't know what that's for but and then there's all the farming see all the farming areas in the back so that's pretty cool it sort of has a little bit of a, a minecraft vibe to it that's pretty cool and then how you can sort of expand your house and let's just stop here for a second uh, right so this is kind of sort of like the end scene um Let's break this up apart a little bit. So you have here your house, which I'm guessing you have sort of a standard plot. Um, because something tells me these fences here on the edge are not player driven. As a player, I don't think you can select the size of the plot. You can, you just get a plot. Maybe you can expand it later down the road, but uh, I'm pretty sure you get just like this standard plot. Then you have your windmill here in the back, which looks like it's attached to the plot. Not so sure. Uh, or maybe it's just an aesthetic. And then you have all of these things that we were just talking about. You have like um, the farm here. You have a well where you can gather your um, your water. I genuinely don't know what this thing is on the top left corner of the screen. Some sort of shrine, some sort of hub. I don't know. Uh, I guess we're going to find out. And there's this recreation area, this tent. I don't know whether this tent is made for some for visitors um or or whatnot but the, the attention to detail is is there is definitely there like you have the chimney here which kind of indicates that the uh, kitchen is here i sure hope that if you build the chimney or if there's a chimney involved that that has actual purpose not just like a visual chimney but it does serve a purpose like for example in valheim you would build a chimney to make sure that you don't have smoke in the house right and you don't suffocate um so I'm hoping it does have a practical purpose to it. If it does, then maybe they can do that later down the road. All right, so you have your mailbox, just like did you see that? You have your mailbox, just like in um, just like in The Sims. All right, so you have your mailbox here, which you, I guess you get like board notifications and stuff. And then you got your exploration, which are the mines. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, this is very loud. And of course, a bunch of dads fishing. Brilliant. Yeah, man, this is this is great. I can't wait to play this. Uh, as I said, as a dad, I'm pretty sure I'm going to sink in a bunch of hours <laughs> into this. Mainly fishing, really. Um, and then all the other stuff that comes in between, like building the house and and doing all sorts of uh, all sorts of things. Um, but yeah, if, look, if you want to see more content like this, if you want to see me uh, reacting to all sorts of, uh, of trailers, and if you want me to, to play this game, and you want to see how it actually turns out with the community, um, please do subscribe. Uh, we just launched this YouTube uh, channel, so I'm hoping it kind of pulls in some traction. Um, but yeah, it's only helps. Uh, it only helps if you subscribe, like the video, obviously, uh, click the bell icon and, and, and all that. I'll put all the socials in, in the description and all that. But yeah, in the meanwhile, everyone keep exploring. Okay. See you later.